हेलो एंड वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू आवर चैनल इंट्रो में एक बार वी डिस्कस अबाउट बेसिक मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग कॉन्सेप्ट्स सो टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट गैस स्प्रिंग्स नाउ गैस स्प्रिंग्स आर वाइडली यूज्ड इन मेनी ऑफ द इंजीनियरिंग एप्लीकेशंस एंड दे हैव देयर ओन एडवांटेजेस सो लेट्स सी व्हाट आर गैस स्प्रिंग्स हाउ दे वर्क व्हाट आर देयर एप्लीकेशंस एंड how we can uh, choose and select this gas spring so let's start so this is the general construction of the gas springs so here you could see it looks like a piston and cylinder but what is the difference is you will not see any kind of ports in this why because the pressurized nitrogen gas has been already filled that is factory filled within this uh part and uh, there is oil also for the lubrication purpose so we have a rod then we have a seal so that the oil should not come and for maintaining the pressure then we have bearing we have a piston and end plug so you might be wondering that if it is filled with the pressurized gas then how it will get compressed now if you closely observe you will find a hole in the piston so wherever this piston moves to this side some of the gas come out to this position also so let's check out that how it actually works so these are some of the applications you can uh, see that in many of the hoods of the cars and uh, you might have seen this so these are widely used in these applications so let's check out how actually they work so uh these are the gas springs and they are also called as constant force uh springs now let's see why they are called as constant spring if we have a common spring like a wire spring and then we have a gas spring now in case of a uh, common spring we know that force increases as it compresses but in case of gas spring we almost get a constant uh, force and uh, uh, that's why these are called as constant uh, force now uh, let's see the inside construction we have pressurized nitrogen uh, inside the cylinder as we discussed and it is constantly applying a force on this piston side right but at the same times so what happens is you can see there is a hole through the piston so pressurized nitrogen gas comes on the rod end side and it also starts acting on the rod end side so now we have forces acting on both the sides so your question might be then how it will move if you closely observe the area is larger on upper side and smaller on the rod end side and because of this area difference the force uh, is generated and how you can find out simply the pressure into large area minus pressure into small area so this creates a net force and because of which the gas spring moves so even if it moves on let's say extreme position you can see there is still some gas which is acting on the other side so uh the gas also exerts force on this and the nitrogen now is moving to the other side when you try to retract the cylinder so now the pressure is nitrogen is on this side of that is on the rods end and again on the top side there is some uh, gas which is acting uh, on the piston area so this is how uh, the gas spring works and the the pressure remains uh, constant it changes a little bit as the volume reduced on the top side you might see uh, but it is almost that's why it is called as almost constant force the, so this is the kind of advantage of uh, uh, gas springs and they are widely used uh, in many of the applications as we uh, saw so let's see how we can select them so just go and type gas spring shop and you will get one link so just click on the link now the link will get open and it will show different options like configure uh, gas spring from stock and calculate a gas spring for your application so this is what we are interested in we want to design our own gas spring so let's go for that now here you can see there are different steps 
so we can design our own gas spring step by step manner so first step is we have to give some inputs to the system according to our parameters like what we are designing right so uh, you can see now there are four different configurations first one is the lid is opening like this way now second one is vertical and lid is opening like uh, this way then second third one is uh, at inclined surface and fourth one the springs have different arrangement uh, it is opening from bottom to uh, top so these are different configurations we can choose according to our application now let's select the first uh, first configuration now we have to mention some specifications now length uh, is like uh, we have to give the length now what is the length just click on that it will show what is the length so according to our design we can put the value so let's select one value uh, let's say 500 mm then we have width so this is the width so let's take a value for a uh, width let's uh, have uh, a value of uh, let's say 300 mm then how height height is nothing but the thickness of our lid so we have to take the thickness of the lid so this is required to find out the weight of the lid also and uh, the other dimensions so uh, it is required to enter the right dimensions so that we can get a proper result so this is nothing but the thickness so let's consider the thickness let's say it's 25 and then weight so weight we can uh, calculate or they have also shown some reference that how you can uh, take the weight of the system and we the, the weight mass will be acting through the cg of the part so take some factor of safety also so let's take it as a uh, 45 kg a position of the pivot uh, now where the lead is getting open the pivot point we can see it at the bottom or at the top or at the center so let's take it at its bottom now close angle like uh, how much close angle we require now the open angle that is important the open angle so that defines the you know how we want to put something inside that so cover material let's uh, select the cover material as aluminium then we have number of gas springs either we can go for one or two so depending on that the size will change the material of gas spring let's have steel then um, we have gas tension uh, spring so yes th that is the gas uh, tension spring right then hit on continue calculate we have to accept it and here is the result now the result is all simulation you can see open hatch then close hatch we can simulate the opening that how much force is required you can see uh, how the lid is getting opened or how uh, it is closed so it's very useful you can imagine that how it is getting opened and what are the distances now here you can see the uh, information uh, like what is the a size what is the c size these are all the mounting uh locations you can see here on the right side you can see now what is a uh what is the a distance what is the c distance uh you can see this a is the distance of uh, from pivot point to the mounting of the uh, cylinder bottom uh, then c is your distance of rod end from the pivot point then again b is the distance of your rod and d is another distance so these distances are also important you can also modify them or uh, if you want to change them you can change and check what, what are the differences so based on these inputs we have got uh, the size of the gas spring so you can we can see the gas spring uh, here which they have uh, suggested us the size of the gas spring is 6-19 so what does it indicate the 6 is the rod size 19 is the bore size and stroke is 200 mm so this is the uh, spring then step 4 is 
how we have calculated now if you get some doubts like which values should be entered then you can go step by step through this data uh, that how to enter the values and uh, what values should be entered at what place so this is also very in a uh, very good and even if you miss something you can just see how it works and uh, what are the different things they are offering you can see the examples are given and many other data is given so this is very uh, important and you know you can just check if you have done some calculations you can just cross check it with the software or if, if it is not possible to do the hand calculation you can just put the values over here and get uh, the right gas spring for your application so you can manually also check and the black dot indicates the CG how, how the CG is moving the CG of the lead so you can see the distance also if you click on the A it is showing some distance so this is how uh, it works and uh, you can utilize it for your applications right so this was very informative but let's say if you want to do some uh, hand calculations for that also uh, I have given some reference so it is from YouTube only I will drop a link in this uh, they have very well explained like what are the forces acting and how to resolve them and how to calculate the distances so if you are really interested in these design calculations i will drop a link in the comment section and you can watch this uh, video so this is very good video you can get all the information how we can resolve the uh, resolve the forces and how we can find out the distances right so this is how the gas springs are uh, selected and uh, this is how all the, the different parameters are in Involved in this so I hope you got some new knowledge out of this session and if you have any doubts please do write into the comment section and we can discuss over there until then keep intro making thank you for your patient listening thank you